Certainly a day like today uh, is, um, is a blessing uh, for many of us, but involves the work of so many people, and so we're grateful uh, to our hosts here at, uh, at St. Mark's, uh, but also to our musicians and all of our uh, servers and all the folks out in the parking lot doing all the good things that they're doing. We're so grateful to everyone who allowed our celebration uh, today uh, to be uh, so smooth and, uh, and so beautiful. In particular, though, I, I think we should uh, take some time to thank our formators. There are men and women uh, in our seminary here at St. Joseph's uh, in our pastoral assignments where many of our new deacons have served, and in particular uh, in, in our seminary in Cincinnati, who uh, have dedicated their lives to forming young men in preparation for the diaconate and priesthood. And these are, these are folks who oftentimes uh, go largely unseen, and yet their, their ministry is vital to the work of the church. Uh, and I know uh, Father Gober, who sort of is part of that team, but also represents all those who sort of stand behind you and with you in that mission, uh, should be prayed for and should be uh, thanked uh, for dealing with these knuckleheads for the last few years. So join me in thanking all of them. Lastly, certainly not least, uh, our families. Uh, the families of these six uh, new deacons, uh, their moms and dads. Um, God bless you. you uh, uh, your faith has made a difference in the life of the church. Think about that. Um, sometimes we don't think our faith does anything. Um, it's done something remarkable. And uh, we want you to know uh, how blessed the Church of Charlotte is because of your family. Um, you haven't lost a son. You've just gained a whole lot more. So um, know that our prayers continue to be with our uh, six deacons and their families, especially their parents, uh, who have blessed the church today in such a gracious way. To our moms and dads, God bless you and we thank you.